you sort of started off as a blank slate because you were a brand new teacher. Mm -hmm. And so however you implemented whatever systems that was put in place, you know, you were navigating it for the first time. Like you didn't have to follow in any specific footsteps and things. So if there was one thing you could talk to, you go back uh, a year ago and jump in a time machine and catch uh, Mr. Jen Lee as he's getting ready to leave school or um, I would almost say like, yeah, not just leave school, but I think because yours would be different from the moment you were gonna right between working a job and seeking employment, like what would you, and then based on your experiences past year, what would you tell yourself? Like out of everything, you've, two experienced, everything you've experienced, what would, you, what would you tell yourself or what would you say? Yeah, I, I would, I always look at skill sets and t think about like, you know, what skill sets have carried me here and what, you know, has been a struggle for me. And, you know, this is stuff that I tell my avid students all the time. Um, but it was organization, right? Like we had a, we didn't have much notice from right the first day of school year to tell us like we're going in person or we're not. And we just kind of like, we're unable to prepare adequately. And so the first half of the year was us preparing, which was uh, somewhat unacceptable, but it also taught like so many of us to just be ready, right? Just to be ready to switch gears at any moment at any time. And I thought like, those that were organized, those that had things in the past and just had those experiences to be organized, just will be, were able to be more successful. I thought where I failed or where I not sit failed, but where I lacked the most was that piece of feeling organized. Like I always felt behind. Right. And so I, I don't think anyone felt on top of it this year, but I think some had more, of an ability to adapt quicker just because they already had things uh, in place. And so even going into next year, my biggest goal was to, you know, feel like I have lessons ready that I'm not doing day to day planning anymore. And, um, you know, just be a little bit more organized with, you know, everything that I have in, in front of me, because who knows what next year is going to look like too, right? Like, even if I if we're fully back in person, I guess, for me, in my perspective, it's just another new first year like this was a first year but next year is going to be my next first year and we'll see what the norm becomes but um yeah i'm just trying to be prepared for that 